And we're back in the game. Only this time, we're back in a brand new game. Uh, some Total War Shogun 2. With the Total Fall of the Samurai mod. Uh, also known as Scramble of the Far East. So, uh, what this does, it adds to the Fall of the Samurai campaign a bunch of European factions. So, we are going to select uh, Total Fall of the Samurai. And today I'm going to start as Russia. That's right, Russia's in it. The United States is in it. Great Britain, or the United Kingdom, is in it. Netherlands, uh, the Queen Empire. Actually, that music might be a little too loud. Might have to adjust that. Prussia is in it. Um, Russia is up here. The map has actually been modded. We now have what is that? Uh, Korea, the Korean Peninsula, and parts of, of Russian Far East. Uh, the French are in it. Where are the French? They're up in northern Japan. The Dutch, down at the bottom. We have the, uh, where is it? Joseon Kingdom, if that's the correct, uh, correct pronunciation. Uh, they're in Korea. Uh, Northern Alliance. That is a Japanese faction. We also have the United States right over here. Uh, the United Kingdom rather in a central position. Uh, pressure up there. So we're going to start as a Russia. Uh, they're up here. So let me turn my timer on. I don't know how much we'll get done in this first episode. Uh, there's also another Japanese faction. Satcho Alliance. Actually, what do the Northern Alliance do? Um, military Political Coalition established counter imperial forces. Right. So, we're going to go not on easy, not on normal, but we're going to go on hard. Uh, because I haven't played any Shogun 2 in many, many years. And obviously I haven't played this mod. Uh, ever. So I've probably forgotten everything I knew about Shogun 2. And I know absolutely nothing about this mod. Now, you know I go with a short campaign. That means capture and hold 25 provinces. In addition, ensure at least 40 provinces are held by forces loyal to your same allegiance including the following Central uh, Primoskoya and Musashi. I think there was a famous aircraft from the Second World War called a Musashi Japanese aircraft. Right, so I guess we have to hold our starting region up here. Uh, we have to do that by late December 1870. Right, we're not going to search for anyone to play against. You know, accept, and we're going to start. So let's see. What this mod is all about. Now, I believe that the uh, creator of this mod is also working on a European mod uh, called the Carlist War which would be centered on the Iberian Peninsula. Um, After the single are we going to watch this or skip it? Well, let's skip it because I want to get into our actual campaign. Right, we could read through this. I think I've got the advisor turned off. Yeah, we're not worried about you. Uh, in fact, we'll dismiss you. Right. Increase your faction's development level. I think we have to do that through the research tab. Faction development. Do we have anything already done? Doesn't look like it. Right. Well, we have this one that's already done. There's a whole bunch of new technologies, as you can see. And I have no idea what most of them do. Right. 
And as we're going to be playing as Russia and going after initially the Koreans and the Chinese, I think we need happiness. Oh, that's going to take 22. Uh, we have to go through this one to get to that. Mm, okay, so infrastructure. All right. Can we trade with anyone? Apparently, we can trade with the Queen Empire. Well, uh, they look like they only have one region, right? Yeah. Uh, we can't see any of the other factions. So, I'm not going to trade with them because we're going to go to war with them. Right. What can we do down here? Now remember, this is where you can actually promote people. We're going to adopt him. So I'm going to do that. That normally raises uh, their loyalty and decreases theirs, and it did. Alright, these are here. Okay, how are we looking in our provinces? Don't have any agents. Don't have any fleets. Bent messages. Yep. Objectives. Yep. Actions. We only know of one. We've got three armies apparently. Although well, that's just a general. Right, provinces. They are all unhappy. Uh, that's not a good start. Right. So we're still going to make about 2,000. Has that helped out? No, they're all still unhappy. <laughs> uh, that's not good. Right. How far east can we go? Right. We can go all the way over here. So we can only get two units out here. Yeah, negative one at the moment. Okay. Now I don't think we're going to be doing much fighting out here. So I'm going to recruit one unit. Now we don't have any one here. Now we've got 14,000, which might seem a lot, but buildings are rather expensive. I'm actually going to get rid of this one. Because I don't think we'll need it. We'll put something more useful. Uh, I'm going to get rid of this one as well. We could get rid of that, but that does give us a garrison. Right. And that's the one that's giving us the infantry in any case. So we'll get rid of those and maybe put some public order buildings in if there's any available. As I said, I haven't played this before, so... I don't know whether we have a lot of public water buildings, a lot of economic buildings, a lot of military buildings, or a good uh, mix up of them. Alright, we don't have any units in here. That's also a negative one. A garrison should. Yeah, I think just one unit might be enough to turn it around. Alright, and again, I'm going to get rid of this building. Uh, as we can't see any of the other factions, we can't trade with them. So we're going to be a little limited in our funding, I think, for a while. Right, there's uh, some troops. Right, he's a general. Just a general. Right, I'm going to get him in there. Let's speed him up. We have another general in there. Right. Let's transfer him over here. So, they are also not happy. Oh, now here, we have a lot of troops to recruit. Right. Carassier of the Guard. Yes, we will like to see some of those during the campaign. Uh, Don Cossacks, infantry. We're going to need some of those. Unfortunately, all these units take three turns, and I think we're going to need as many units as possible, as quickly as possible. We also get modern artillery, 12 pounders. We can get a really good selection of units here. Uh, Pavlovsky Guard, um, lifeguards, again, taking three turns. Looks like we only have one unit. It's going to take one turn. 
Yeah. Uh, where is it? Those infantry, just basic line infantry, I guess. Now we have an army here. Right. So that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven units. And we can recruit three, five out of here. One, two, three, four, five. Four from there. Right, once they get a general in, they might be a bit happy. That's dropped us down to 5300, which might not be much. We could get deep seam iron mine. That would be good for exporting, but we don't really have anyone to trade with. No. What else could we do? We we can get a trade dock up here. That's going to give 1500 wealth for ports in this province. Okay, I'm going to get that. Right, so we're recruiting nine infantry units. So that should give us about a full stack. Hopefully. And we're going to take on you. We've got 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 that we know of, 12 units, but only one region. Yeah, all of this we can't see yet. We don't have any line of sight. So, there's not much we can do in our first episode, or our first turn, I should say. Is that a little island? It is, it says island. Okay, that's helpful. So we're in winter time. We're not taking any attrition here. Don't know how long it's going to take us to get over there, but there is a road here. Alright, let's hit the intern, see what happens. Shouldn't take very long. Okay, um, they want me to pay now because we're going to go to war. Alright, so that's the sound effects from Empire Total War and Napoleon Total War. I recognise them because I play a lot of those. Now, as you can see, the map has been modded because uh, Korea and Japan and Russia were not in Shogun 2. Or even the Fall of Samurai. And there is in fact a Lord of the Rings mod based upon Shogun 2 with a completely modded map uh, of Middle Earth in the first and second ages, I think, uh, because they have Numenor in it as well. Right, so I'm going to leave one unit out there just for the second. See if we've got the public order under control. It's level there. It's level there. Level there. And it's up over here. Right. Yeah, it's not much movement, is it? You could barely get over there. Right. We'll get those into there and then take them out. So our money's gone up. Maybe we have enough to get something else. We did destroy those other buildings, didn't we? Yeah, let's go back. See if they, we can put something in here for public order. That's going to reduce happiness. We don't want that. That's going to reduce happiness. But both of those bring in a lot of money. Oh, we destroyed that one in any case. Plus one oppression. Increase the spread of influence. 
for 2000 that's quite a bit hmm. this one uh, provides happiness and gives us a courtesan and she can actually uh, boost her happiness if you embed her uh, also with the assassins I think hmm. I think we'll go with this one because we will get volunteer infantry that might be cheaper I don't know if it's particularly good or not but it does give us some wealth we're just short of being able to get another one of those we'll upgrade whenever wherever we can I think we're going to need a ship to uh, sail over to uh, Japan so we can open up trade with other factions. That's what I think. Until we can discover them, and we can't trade with them. I did see one that said East Indies Trade up there. That popped through. Right. Right, so that's four units. How many is that? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So we need five more, in fact. Right, that's my faction leader. That's my son in the air. Right, so that's eighteen units. I think. Oh, we are very close to the border, which I cannot see. Why can we not see the border? Yeah, we are very close. Do the borders not show up between provinces or factions? Hmm. Right. Are you still happy? Yeah, plus two. So you know what? Let's send him out as well. I don't know how well these are going to perform in battle. It says tier 1, so they got 7 morale. These marines have 9 morale, but not as many men. They've got a range of 200. You've got a range of 200. The artillery has a range of 500. That doesn't seem much. Although well, they are six pandas. Right. Hmm. We'll have to see how well they perform. Right. Let's see if they're getting another building in. Again, let's go with the one that gives um, public order. It's going to take eight turns. Wow. Now money has dropped down quite a bit. But we won't be recruiting anyone else for a while. Probably. So it looks like we're going to have to declare war on the Queen Empire in the next turn. Because we're going to cross their border. I see a lot of Japanese clans. But we didn't see them on the uh, map to begin with. Right. Yeah, many went up just a little bit. Right. Did we go into diplomacy and declare war? I think we do. Right. They're going to be joined by the Koreans. So we could be in a bit of trouble. Because it looks like Koreans have a lot more territory than what we have. Oh no, uh, why are we suffering our attrition there? I know it's winter time, but we're out here. I'm not suffering any attrition. Uh, that's going to hurt us unless winter ends very quickly. Can't afford to lose a lot of men. Yeah, see, it's one turn up to there, two to there, three to there. Or could take at least five turns. It's very slow movement. 
Alright, they want peace. No, because we'll never invade you. Let's see how many men we're going to lose. I may have to pull them back. I would have expected them to be resistance. Ah, we're in springtime now, so... We've encountered the Joseon Kingdom. We're already at war with us, but... At your door, you listen. No, we can't get trade with him. Speak. Nope, can't do much with them. Right. Winter attrition, yeah, we lost like 16 from there, 17, 19. It wasn't even across all of our units. Let's see if we can get a battle. I don't know what kind of troops the Queen Empire is going to have. I don't think they were that advanced at this stage. They only have that one region. No event messages. Uh, they could have been recruiting. That's still going to take at least four more turns. Um, I might just have to pause the recording until we actually do something. And they are very fast in turns. Right, we're beside a river. Don't know which river that is. I don't know if it's the artillery. Yeah, I think it's the artillery. It's definitely slowing us down. And our general, apparently. What if I do that? Is that going to get us there any quicker? Can we just follow up? Yeah, see? Two, three, four more turns. My goodness. We're going to be spending most of the campaign until we get over to Japan where movement will probably be quicker. Yeah. I mean, we've built up some money. I wonder how effective that artillery is going to be. I mean, for the samurai, artillery was quite powerful. Also useful for naval bombardments. I actually liked the uh, naval battles in uh, Shogun 2. I think I preferred them over any other Total War title. I'm not sure why. Right. Okay. Borders, Yellow, Banner, Dadao. Border, Red Banner, Queen. Okay. White Banner, Bow, Infantry. We do have some you know, matchlock, firelock armed units, militia and levy infantry. They've got a lot more cavalry than I have. And they've got some mortars. Right. We actually outnumber them by about 500. I'm just going to continue the siege. And we'll bring up those. It's only a couple of extra units. Are they going to sally out? If they do, don't know how well we'll do. We should beat them from range, I think. They've got a lot of cavalry. If they start charging our infantry lines, we might not do so well. 
but they didn't sally out. Ah, now they're going to sally out, but um, this looks like it's in our favour. However, we want to see a battle, don't we? Okay, let's have a battle. See how well we do. Right. I mean, I, I want to do an order resolve, but let's fight the battle. We're under the command of uh, Lemontev Yaroslav. I think these banners are different moving screens from uh, Fall of the Samurai. Obviously different music. Alright, it's a misty morning. Right, we have to click on not the start battle but the uh, crossed rifles. Let's have a look at our units. We only have three different types of units in here. Basic infantry. I think they have ro uh, Russian voice lines. Look at those flags. Look at them. They are sexy. Right. Infantry, they're hiding so can't see them too well. You can see those ones better. Yep, different voice lines. I think those, they look like the models for the uh, Russian militia from Napoleon's Total War. I think they do. Right. Hopefully this music isn't copyrighted. You can change it, I think. Right, now the Marines, Russian Marines. Right, they're in navy coats and navy pants. Don Cossacks. I think those are from Napoleon Total War as well, aren't they? Don Cossacks. Not that I'm complaining. Uh, I haven't played any Napoleon for a while. Right. I mean, we've got a bunch of hills to defend from. Can we do square formation? We can do near file. Ranked fire ability. We can do square for those units. Yep, that'll come in useful. Right. Well, let's see how well we do. We're defending today, sir. Well, the enemy is supposed to be coming after us. I don't know if we should try out any of these. They do have the mortars, so it might actually force us to come after them. Where are their mortars? Yeah, they're firing. Yeah, we've got incoming shells. Ooh, they look like they're causing some uh, problems for us. Yeah, we're going to have to get our cavalry. Ooh, they are coming in pretty quick, aren't they? We're going to be able to kill them off from range. This one's getting shot at. There's a general. Let's go after him. Right, that one's flanking us. Always have two minds whether to go into square formation or not. Right. Nope, we're going to kill that general. Is that, 
Yeah, we got him. Right. Looks like we're holding off the cavalry on this flank. Now they sent out another general. That's power still in our favour, looks like. Right, we chased them off, haven't we? There's a shattered. Can we get into the mortars? Right. Break your square. One up over there. Yeah, it looks like we're holding out quite well. Can you fire down on the flank? Yeah, we've got some good range. Alright, finally go over there. You have a cavalry out. I'm not even sure who my general is. I think it might be this one. Oh yeah, first victory. Take them out. Beautiful looking units. Yep, there's still a few enemy units holding, isn't there? Or are they all breaking? They're all breaking. Right, uh, melee. Uh, continue. Maybe get some experience. Our uh, cavalry got some good experience, don't they? I mean, it looks like there's a lot of enemy units out there. And then we'll just speed it all up. Didn't really get a chance to look at the, the Chinese units in battle, did we? It's a very fast battle. Right. Blue banner, bow, infantry. Well, they look really nice. Shame we probably won't see them again. Are you still chasing? Yeah, you're definitely getting some kills in, in ranking up. Right, where are you at? Can you chase anyone? Right, speed you up. They can rest when they've finished. Not before. Kill more of the enemy. Yep, that's some Scottish music playing there. Yeah, again, I hate these uh, bounce power bars. They don't show the number or the percentage. I hate them. I hate them with a passion. Yep. A lot of units we can capture, kill, make up. Sure, there's somebody around here we can go after. Uh, there's 
one guy. Yep, not worried about that. Just gonna go here. Yep, I'm sure I told you to shut up. Alright, that's gonna be good enough. Alright. Quit the battle. Decisive victory. Okay. Don't know if it's going to be like that against all factions. Uh, if it is next campaign, and we'll probably do another campaign in this mod, uh, we'll crank up the difficulty level. Alright, we only took 428 casualties. That's about two units. Now the cavalry got all of the experience. Infantry didn't. Right, we should be able to capture their settlements. Right, let's promote them because we've got 60, uh, 6,800. So now we have a new general. Now I remember you used to get a lot of money from sacking the settlements, like tens of thousands. I don't know how it is in this mod. That sounds like Vivaldi. Right, what do they have left? Well, the faction leader, he was the heir, wasn't he? Uh, not now. Can you get to him? Yep. Oh, I thought we already besieged it. Alright. What a resolve. No, we didn't lose a single man. Alright. Oh yeah, 17,000 if we loot it. No, I don't trust them if to be a Basel. No, we're going to gain 900 though. You know what? Um, public order. Uh, because it's a different culture. I think we're going to peacefully occupy them. Right. So, out of Manchuria, they are happy. Plus five. That's good. Right, we've got a road here. So we can follow that down. It is a road, isn't it? Right. Uh, replenishment. Only two men replenishing per turn? That one is five. It's rather slow. Seven. Yeah, it's going to take a lot of turns to replenish. Oh, we can get a, an assassin over here. Right, captured that. We've acquired silk. We've destroyed um, the Queen Empire. Right, and we finished that one. So that should have boosted public order. Yeah, we could probably take out. Or could we? Could we take them out? Yeah. Because we get a, a garrison in any case. Right, let's go up here and see what we need to fix up. We can only get to two units, but... Uh, ah, those are conscript infantry. That's different from what we've got, isn't it? Yeah. Their morale was 7. What's the uh, conscripts like? 5. Might just leave some of those behind. Okay, so what does that do? Not much. You can get the Cossacks there. We'd have to upgrade that to get. No. Uh, conscript infantry, yeah. It's not really going to benefit us. I think we're going to get rid of one of these. Maybe this one. So we can get some better infantry up here. Right, this one. I think we need to repair that. That's very cheap. Okay. 
We can get raw silk here, but we're going to need that trade port. Yeah, we can't trade with anyone else. Hmm. Commercial farm. Find Cossacks. Hmm. Right. Well, if we try to recruit from here. We just seen it took some like nine turns to get over, didn't it? Although it doesn't look like it's going to take as many now. Right, if we drag that out. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, maybe it's because of the time of the year. Right, I mean, we could recruit some new units there and get four of these. Right, that's going to be just under half our money. I think I'm going to need it. Right. We won't be exporting that silk to those other Europeans. That would bring in some money, that would. Okay, we're now in summertime. Let's see if we do have more movement. Yeah, definitely looks like the uh, seasons affect movement quite a bit. Alright, how happy are you? Plus seven. You bring in a good amount of money. If we exempt you though, that only goes up to one, or plus one. So I want to take those units out to get moving. What if I take out, take you to there. Because that's still in our territory. Right. Still at seven. Okay, now they're not happy. Ooh, that went down quite a bit. So these are somewhat cheaper. They'll be okay. They'll be okay. Right. Can we get better infantry from any of those? Well, we can get the volunteer infantry. What do we have to do to get the regular infantry? This one. Cadet school, 2600. Hmm. Right. Well. That's as far as we can go. We need to find out where the Korean settlements are. And also get more units over. We might, in fact, Send this one down here. Maybe merge them up. Well, they should be okay when we get those three in there. Right, I think we're going to need this one again. Yeah, to get them happy. Right, so this is where we're going to end the first episode of our brand new campaign. Uh, Hopefully it goes down well. Uh, I know most of the campaigns that we do involve you know, like more of a melee focus. This is going to be more of a gunpowder type thing. But it might go down quite well. We'll see.